In this animation, we are going to discover what happens to proteins after translation. We're going to follow Patrick the Protein on his epic pub crawl. After proteins are translated, they can either go to the lysosome, if they're enzymatic, or to the Golgi to be transported out of the cell, but unfortunately for Patrick, he'll have a job to do. Patrick already has the information he needs to fold up correctly, contained within his amino acid sequence. A signal sequence in Patrick's mRNA will attract a signal receptor protein. This protein will pause the ribosome from translating Patrick until it reaches a translocon on the rough ER. SRP binds the SRP receptor next to the translocon, which removes the plug and allows Patrick to be translated into the ER. Patrick may get overexcited and try to interact with other unfinished proteins all fold up before he's ready. Chantelle the chaperone slows Patrick down and makes sure he behaves. Dichylphosphate also binds to Patrick to make sure he folds properly. Removal of the first two glucose starts Patrick's folding. Once Patrick and his friends are made, they will be glycosylated to make sure they're stable. Several bouncer glycosyl transferases and proteins like Calnexin will check Patrick is properly folded and looking presentable. If Patrick isn't folded quite right, and he just can't get himself together, he calls out for the unfolded protein response to stop the nucleus transcribing more proteins, that is, anything unessential, so he can sort himself out. When Patrick and his friends want to leave, they go to an exit site and into a vesicle taxi. One of Patrick's friends, however, stays behind to go to the lysosome. The vesicle is coated in COP2, which comprises of several components that act to bind to Patrick and his friends and concentrate them together, a little like seatbelts. RAB1 on the vesicle targets it to the Golgi, much like a satnav would do a real taxi to its destination. RAB1 then anchors the vesicle to the RAB acceptor protein, while V-snares on the vesicle tangle with T-snares on the Golgi membrane bringing the vesicle close enough to fuse. After fusion has occurred, GTP on the RAB1 is dephosphorylated to GDP to remove it from the membrane. NSF and SNAP will also help to dissociate the snares and recycle them back to the ER. Here ends the section involving processes from the ER to the Golgi. Now for the science. Pause on these slides if you need to, to make sure you fully understand what has just happened. Created using Powtoon.